Lying leaders been deceiving us since we were seeds. Give us the truth. That's what we need. Hey guys, Lisa here again with another vlog. So now I know you guys are expecting part two of last week's topic, um, which was why do Christians suffer while bad people just seem to be getting away with stuff? But unfortunately, that's not going to happen this week. I'm sorry. No, before you get upset, let me explain myself. Now, I told you guys in the beginning that this is going to be about us growing together. And last week, to be honest, my spiritual life just was not on track with part two of that topic. God had me in a completely different place. Last week for me was just spent with God doing a lot more Bible study and just examining myself, you know, trying to really figure out if I had lost focus, if I was still doing this for the right reasons. I think it was necessary. Now, I felt like I was getting a little bit derailed, you know getting caught up just doing all of this stuff you know in the actual doing of the thing um, producing these videos and um, managing the pages and I feel like you know I got caught up in the content and things started slipping with my God you know what I mean so then in my personal Bible study God brought um, John chapter 21 um, to my attention and it's the story of Peter and the other fishermen um, this is after Jesus had already died and resurrected. Um, he had spent all night fishing, 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 not catching anything. And then Jesus is on the shore and they can see Jesus from the boat. And he tells them, yeah, you know, just cast your nets over on that side. And they're like, dude, we spent all night fishing. But they're like, okay, whatever. Let's just try it and they throw the nets over and it's like all these fish 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 just in the boat filling up the boat so then they bring it back to shore because they know they know the only person who does that kind of thing is jesus so they haul back to shore and jesus cooks up the fish and then he looks at simon peter and says simon son of jonah do you love me more than these I was just thinking this kind of thing happens so many times God does all these marvelous stuff for us and we get caught up in the gift and not the giver you know he takes us out of a place of dryness and puts us into a place of abundance and we get stuck on the fish the fish guys God is really speaking to me about that because I had wanted to you know share the gospel with people for such a long time and now that it's actually happening it's just like I've been so caught up in it and you know I was beginning to lose focus of him I know some of y'all are just watching this and you're like Lizelle you just started how could you possibly be in this position already but my answer to you is what better time to sabotage something than in its infancy we are in a spiritual war Ephesians chapter 6 says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places the devil isn't gonna just sit back and let you just do what you need to do for christ Ooh, i feel some preaching coming on see when god has birthed something in your spirit that's when the enemy comes in like a flood he wants to get you distracted he wants to get you focused on you he wants to get you focused on what people think about you preach he wants to get you focused on stuff that don't matter he wants to get you focused on anything but christ and you saints you are gonna get swept away in that flood but god hallelujah can't afford to get the real guys the devil is a tricky one the stuff that he chooses to get us with it's not like obvious stuff like people keep thinking he you know he's gonna come in his red suit the tail and the horns i mean that ain't bible no that would be too easy that would be like going into battle wearing like pink or something no he's gonna come in camouflage son you know what real spiritual camouflage looks like when you're tempted to facebook instead of reading god's book when you're tempted to tweet instead of getting that spiritual neat when you're tempted to instagram instead of wait i can't think of anything to rhyme with instagram <laughs> but you get the point right i mean 
whatever it is you're doing whatever it is god has called you to do whether it is to show up on time do a good job or whether it's to pick up kids take them to sunday school whether it's to teach whether you're one of those generous people blessing the lives of others or whether you're just like me doing videos to help people in your community just remember don't get derailed Keep your eyes on Christ. Jesus asked Peter, do you love me more than these? It's only after Peter said, yes, Lord, that he said, okay, feed my lambs. Hmm? Let it sink in. Let it marinate. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Love truth. Live truth. Stay strong. Beware the me Everybody wanna be somebody. Giving everything to get a shot to give a little bit. Everybody